you can lift up the thing so it can't move. So even if they can get the door unlocked, they can't get it open. All right? What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. So even if they can get the door unlocked, they can't get it open. All right? Does this really work, though? Does the seatbelt trick really works? No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. So even if they can get the door unlocked, they can't get it open. All right? All right, guys, you heard it for yourself. So guys, you know, I see these types of videos across TikTok. And it's crazy that these people make these type of videos. It just shows me that you sharing with everyone about how alone and scared you are on this road. Now, I understand that you, your, your safety is a must, especially when you be in areas that you're not familiar with. Ladies are, are, are targeted a lot. You know, a lot of men out there is watching you. A lot of people is watching you, watching how you move, watching your truck, you know, just watching what you do. And when you come back to your truck, it is is it's very understandable that you can feel some kind of way as far as you haven't even been in this truck stop area, shipper receiver, or maybe the the side of the road itself. But this right here, I don't understand why you guys keep coming on this app and keep showing this eyeball seatbelt trick. M ladies i would like to know do it work do it work for you have you tried it what about just locking the door what happened if a perpetrator busts out the window and use a knife to cut the seat belt what happened if you get in an emergency situation what happened if the truck catches on fire and you're not able to get out because when you when you tighten the seat belt around the door and latch it in the latch sometimes that latch get jammed it gets jammed to the point because the the seat belt is too tight and it's pulling and you're not able to unlatch that latch then what then what you're gonna have to raise down the window and jump out the window right well that's the same thing as a perpetrator just busting out the window just to get into the truck right See, what you're not saying when you guys make these type of videos is what happens when it gets too, gets too tight and you're not able to unlatch it. Then what? You're not showing us that. You're not showing us that. You're not showing us the fact that, hey, make sure you keep a knife on you so in case of an emergency that you need to get out after you do this seatbelt trick you're able to get out of the truck with a knife pocket knife because just like everybody in your comments said oh i didn't know about that oh that's a good idea oh i i didn't think of that these are the same commenters that be like oh well how are you going to get out of the seatbelt is it won't come out of the latch oh my bad i i didn't show that oh i i, I don't want to show how a perpetrator can actually bust out the window and use a and use a knife to get in the truck hmm you didn't want to show that but yet you want to show how you secure the door for extra protection right okay I get that but again you and the rest of the people that makes videos like this you you over here talking about hey here's a safety tip for you ladies for extra precaution wrap the seatbelt around the door and make sure you latch it in so that when they pull on the door they won't be able to get in they'll be able to unlock the door but they won't be able to get in the door but once they already unlock the door and 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 swipe the belt with the knife, they already in. What about talk about trucks that don't? What do you do 
Would let me ask you this: What do you do for trucks that don't have the hoop, the door handle like yours? Then what? Then what? How do you wrap the seat belt around the door then? Oh, you don't know? Because, oh, maybe you never drove a truck like that? Maybe you didn't know that Mats, Volvos, Internationals don't come with door handles like that? Maybe some of them. I'm I'm just I'm just saying on the ones I drove didn't have no door handles. So how am I going to wrap the seatbelt around the door to, uh, for for more protection? I can't do it. Why not just lock the door? Make sure that the door is locked. Make sure that you that you have one of those screens that come around your window. If you don't have that, why not just go into the store, buy one of them big, you know, windshield visors that will cover up your whole truck. That's a deterrent. That probably might let the perpetrator know that maybe I might not want to bother that truck because somebody might be in that truck right there. Instead of doing this, leaving your windows open and the perpetrator could see through the through the window that, oh, you're using the tried and true seatbelt trick. Hold on. I got something for that. Go into the store, buy them a knife, come back out, you know, buy, and also... That little window breaker, they sells that at the at the truck stops too. So all they gotta do is just tap on that window. Tick, psh, psh, unlock the door. Get up in there before you even get up out the bed. <laughs> they already in the truck before you get up out the bed. Again, like I said, what if what what happens? What happens if you're in a mer medical emergency? What happens if you catch a stroke, seizure, a heart attack? The emergency personnel wouldn't even be able to get in. Why? Because you got the tried and true seatbelt trick on a latch that can't even open. I mean, that won't even be able to unlatch because it's too tight. What happens if your truck is on fire? And you won't be able to exit out of the truck. Hmm. Haven't thought about all of those uh, scenarios, right? But you just think that it's a good idea for extra protection to wrap the seatbelt around the door real tight and latch it to the point that it won't unlatch when you need it to. Drivers, that's my thoughts. Tell me yours in the comments below. Got it locked, boy.